Hi, we're here at OSA's Laser Congress in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm here with Dr. Bertold Schmidt, Managing Director of Trump Photonics. Dr. Schmidt, attendees here at Laser Congress work across a, a variety of laser-based industries. You spoke today on CW solid state lasers. Can you tell us more about your presentation? Yeah, actually, it, um, uh, it's um, it, the, the topic I talked about was uh, uh, the Trump as a system and solutions provider to the industry incorporating actually various technologies in CW lasers. So we are not uh, a company who has one particular technology we are utilizing. We use lasers based on disk uh, uh, amplifiers, we use uh, fiber lasers, but we also use more and more direct light lasers in the industry to uh, uh, provide solutions for CW processes that are then utilized in a, in a vast variety of, of products or to manufacture a vast variety of products, cars for instance, ships and uh, building technologies and the interesting thing is, uh, it must correct you a little, that uh, I on, not only talked about CW lasers but also short post lasers because um, it's actually a unique quality of the disc laser that it can be utilized to the CW world but also to the picosecond, femtosecond and to the nanosecond world. Yeah? So we, with the same laser or with the same backbone type of lasers, we can manufacture uh, a CW version of the uh, laser and we can utilize it uh, to uh, produce picosecond pulses that then are applied in uh, to produce um, smartphones, wearables, uh, uh, cutting glass, sapphire, and all these type of applications. And you also spoke about the future of laser diodes. Where where do you see that going for us? Yeah, I, I mean, the, the diode itself is again the backbone for all these type of lasers because the diode is uh, utilized today to pump uh, disc and fiber lasers and slap and rod lasers as well. Uh, but it's also the diode by itself becomes more and more important in the industry as a standalone or uh, as an infeed in the standalone diode based uh, solid state laser system. So applying the idea of uh, having uh, a group of hundreds of sou or thousands of diodes by itself, small diodes, then combined by wavelengths combining. Um, spatial combining, polarization combining, or latest uh, with uh, dense wavelengths combining is naturally key to access um, similar power levels and brightness levels as we already generate with uh, the other laser systems. The diet comes with uh, add-on that it's very efficient and that we are not losing in a second uh, optical to optical um, amplification stage uh, efficiency so we can really utilize the, the light diet or the pump light diet directly uh, to be applied on the workpiece. You've had a very unique career in photonics and in international companies. Can you tell someone starting out in the industry, can you give them some advice? Oh, that's difficult. Uh, it's a difficult question uh, because I, I think there isn't really one right answer. Uh, there are. I can only recommend, um, based on my experience, that uh, I think you should have a particular field where you should be uh, uh, um, an expert in, and you should gain a certain experiment. You utilizing this expertise, you 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 kind of generated over years in university or working also with industry and partners, but on the other side, you should also keep an open and broader understanding on the world of physics and engineering uh, that you can really discuss uh, with people on various levels. I think it's important today that um, given the uh, complexity of technologies and that new inventions arise from combining different fields of technologies, that uh, you have a certain understanding and appreciation of, of, of these particular technologies. So having a broader understanding on, on the technical level but also having some understanding on processes and procedures in the world of business is maybe not too bad to have, in particular if you want to work in the industry. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time today, sir. Signing off from OSA's Laser Congress 2016.